from last year. A lot of guys are returning. How do you shake off the end of last season and keep everything fresh this year? The end of last season shook off when it ended, I believe. I think we have a, a bunch of guys that have assimilated well very quickly to the, the philosophy that Ernie has been preaching. Um, I think we're all moving forward. And you can kind of tell it with the you know the atmosphere that we have in our training sessions and our and our lifts. Everybody's definitely glad to be back and, and wanting to you know take it a step further this season. New forwards uh, on the team this year. What do you have to do to to, to work with them and, and get yourself on the field? Well, essentially, we're all in it to win it, right? We're all here looking for the same goal. So for me. You know, obviously I want to be on the field, but at the same time, if a player is, you know, performing and producing more than I am at that moment, I'm going to back them and I'm going to try to push them in training, help them become better, help myself be better for whenever I do get that opportunity again. CJ, at the beginning of last season, some people were calling for you to get a call up to the national team. You had mm -hmm. some setbacks in the middle of last season. How do you get back to that form? Well, the thing is, everybody's going to have their opinion, you know, and I think as a player, you have to balance out the external and the internal as well. For me, in, in those moments where people were talking about men's national team, all that stuff, I was providing impact for my team. That's all I saw. I still feel like I could have done more, and maybe putting that pressure on myself so early in the season may have, uh, I think, weighed me down a little bit going going forward. So this season is just about providing the impact. And, you know, I'm not going to give out numbers. You know, I don't I, I have goals, but my goals are to make my team better and, and have us accomplish as much as we can. You've been here. You've experienced a not so good season. I didn't know really other way to put it in a great season last year. What felt different last year that led to the success, and do you feel kind of the same thing brewing here this season? Yeah, just a, a philosophy that we all understood. From day one, Ernie made it well known from, you know, everybody in the, in the, on, in the front office to the coaching staff to the players, you know, what's going to be asked of, uh, of them. And when you introduce, you know, accountability to the situation, everybody not only is being accountable for themselves, but they're looking out for their teammates as well. And the camaraderie that I felt last season was probably one of the most that I felt as a pro. And I think we're even building on that even more this season. So now we're, whatever we're doing, we're doing it together. You know, there's going to be days where we're tired and we might be a little upset with the coaches for whatever. But to know that you have guys on the team that have your back and are feeling you as well makes it easier to, you know, work every day. Aside from the talent, really, you guys have, you have a whole off season together, and you got younger guys coming in. How does that locker room really feel now? That you have that time together. Ama amazing, man. I, I, I'm very impressed with all the new guys, from the rookies to the you know guys that have been professionals, and how they have come in and just from day one, the soccer was very sharp. You know, we're we're all putting in the work. Nobody's complaining. It, it's it's beautiful to be a part of uh, such a situation. You know, I've been part of many other situations where that might have not been the case. So it, it's, I think, important to embrace that and, and really soak it in. You've talked about chemistry a little bit with the team. And now that you've had a good amount of years under your belt in MLS, do you feel like you're making that transition into being a veteran player that younger players can look up to? Yeah, you know, it's funny because it kind of crept up on me. You know, I. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm six years in the league, and like little, you know, the rookies ask me where to put their gear, where the towels are at. I'm like, all right, well, I, I do embrace that role, and I, I'm glad that they feel like they can look to me, um, on and off the field. I, I definitely make an effort to let everybody know that I, I'm here for the team. You know, I, I want all of us to be better, and it starts with myself. You know, and I think. Over the years, me actively pursuing trying to be a better me on and off the field has helped me help other people. So it's, it's, a, it's really cool to, to go through that process myself and also witness how everybody else is going through their process, too. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.